going to discuss what how to concatenate all list elements into a string in seesaw.net so let's see the codes so first here going to take a string or data object giving the name st and this initializing with the space blank space now after that going to write your list so when you or uh, write your list automatically system dot correction generic namespace that's come there okay because the list is the class the definition that comes under this namespace system dot collection generic after or uh, doing this one let's write here a string then after that here or uh, giving uh, you should give here the list class object name okay so this I'm going to give you the name. You can give anything but giving here item. After that, creating the object with the help of new list and here strings. The next is this place you need to give. So on the curly braces, writing this place, first is hello. The next is word. And the next is uh, C sharp. Hello world C sharp. And the next is this place right here quotes. So uh, you can give any numbers of the elements inside the list. After giving that, the next is let's write your console class. So console class place the dot then right line method okay right line method and uh, this place you need to give item then press the dot after that the next is here you need to use aggregate so aggregate is the okay link so you can see this comes inside the link namespace system dot link now press the dot then automatically this name space that added there okay now the next is aggregate and this place we need to give so here or uh, one more bracket one for i next for j and thereafter let's use here or uh, this place or uh, equal and uh, greater after that i then let's write here st and then after plus j and now you need to close by the semicolon and now you can see this place or uh, there is no any or uh, it's so uh, here you can see we need to give i and the next is j okay after that ij there is written n so no need to so this is the code here to concatenate all the list so this list elements and if you are using all this code so this will all concatenate now let's uh, test the code so here you can see system collection collection Okay, this uh, thing so uh, that's uh, or displaying or uh, because so uh, this place I did some little mistakes so here console dot write item then aggregate and this place i and j greater equal i plus so this place we need to give a i not item then st and j now let's uh, uh, start once again then you can see this all lists elements that's concatenated and displaying there so since this place i have given the space so that in every words there are a space or between there so hello world see some codes that's come there now the next two is so thereafter let's write your list once again then uh, this is uh, strings then uh, 
you need to write your new list as strings then thereafter this place going to write hello then word and here writing here example then uh, this place let's close by the semicolon then a string str then uh, let's uh, write here a string class and uh, next is press dot then you can use your join method and one is for a uh, blank space you can give a uh, semicolon or comma also and uh, uh, this place okay so this here or uh, since so uh, uh, this place is the uh, list is given so that here you need to give the list okay and the next is you need to write the console class turn right line method and there you need to print str now if you run this code start without debugging then you can get here the same output hello world example it's a display so this list elements after applying this second code and now all the list elements that concatenated here okay and uh, the next uh, here you can see there is the blank space now you can also give the comma so between the words there comma that comes here look, you can see hello comma word comma example okay and thereafter here you can see giant method that i'm using so with the help of giant method so first is now you can see it has have the two parameter and here you should give the list object and here you should give a comma semicolon whatever alphanumeric or a special character symbol you can provide this place okay so this is the two ways we can concatenate all list elements into our strings in csr.net okay so now you can see this is here you can see this is a string str and list element uh, after combining or doing the join operation that is thrown into str and here is str display so a string that is thrown into the strings okay so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you